We've completed working the snowflake square. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and happy crocheting. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Crochet Rainbows and Butterflies. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the snowflake square. Now before we get started, if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss a crochet tutorial. Now for this tutorial, I'm using crochet hook 3.5 millimeters. You can use any crochet yarn, but for this tutorial, I'm using crochet four ply cotton yarn. So let's get started. We begin with a magic circle. Now for those of you who do not know how to work a magic circle, I have a video on that as well. I'll leave the link to that video in the description box below. Now once you have your magic circle, you need to chain 3, 1, 2 and 3. Now this chain 3 will be counted as our first double crochet of this row. And now you work your second double crochet, 2, the third one, 3, 4 and you need to continue working your double crochets in the magic circle till you have a number of 16 double crochets in this circle. So you need to count your first chain 3 as a double crochet and continue working your double crochets till you have a total of 16 double crochets. After you complete your 16 double crochets in the magic circle, you need to close it by pulling the loose end. And now we're going to join this row by working a slip stitch into the first chain 3 that we started this row with. So right on top into the first chain 3, this is 1, 2 and the third one. Right into that stitch you need to work a slip stitch. And now you chain 3. Now this will be counted as a first double crochet of this row. Now you chain 2. And you need to work one double crochet in the same stitch. Now you skip the next stitch. In the next one, you work one double crochet, chain two and one double crochet in the same stitch. Skip the next stitch. In the next one, you work one double crochet. chain 2 and 1 double crochet in the same stitch. Skip the next stitch in the next one, 1 double crochet, chain 2 and 1 double crochet in the same stitch. And now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row. After you complete your row, you will have one stitch left here. You need to skip that. And now you're going to join this row with a slip stitch in the first chain 3 that we started this row with. So in the third chain 1, 2 and 3. Right into that you need to work a slip stitch. And now you need to work a slip stitch into this chain space. chain 3. Now this will be counted as our first double crochet. You work your second double crochet in the same chain space. Now you chain 3 and you need to work two more double crochets in the same chain space. 1 and 2. 
Now you need to directly work in the next chain space here. You have your double crochet V stitch with the chain space. Right into that you need to work two double crochets one and two chain three and two double crochets in the same chain space one and two now again you need to work directly in the next chain space here you have your V stitch your double crochet Right here into the chain space you need to work two double crochets one and two chain three and two double crochets in the same chain space one and two and now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row. After you complete your row, you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first chain 3 that you started this row with. So that's your slip stitch. Now you need to work your second slip stitch in the next double crochet. And your third slip stitch right into this chain space. Now you chain 3. Now this chain 3 will be counted as the first double crochet of this row. Now you work your second double crochet in the same chain space and the third one in the same chain space. So we have three here counting the first one as a double crochet. Now you chain three. You need to work three double crochets in the same chain space. So one, two and three. Now you need to skip these double crochets that you have here and directly in the next chain space right here you need to work three double crochets one two and three chain three and three double crochets in the same chain space one two and three. Now you need to skip the double crochets that you have here and directly in the next chain space right here you need to work three double crochets one two and three chain three and three double crochets in the same chain space. One, two and three. And now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row. After you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first chain three that you started this row with. That's right here. This is your first slip stitch. You work a second slip stitch in the next double crochet. Your third slip stitch in the next double crochet. And the fourth slip stitch in the chain space. Now you chain three. This will be counted as the first double crochet of this row. And now in the same chain space you need to work three double crochets. So one, two and 
2 and 3. Now you have a total of 4 counting the first chain 3 as a double crochet. Now you chain 2. In the same chain space you need to work 4 double crochets. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now you chain 1. You need to skip the double crochets and you, you're going to work in the next chain space right here. So after skipping the double crochets right into the next chain space you need to work 4 double crochets. 1, 2, 3 and 4, chain 2 and 4 double crochets in the same chain space, 1, 2, 3 and 4, chain 1, you need to skip the double crochets here and in the next chain space right here you need to work 4 double crochets 1, 2, 3 and 4 chain 2 and 4 double crochets in the same chain space 1, 2, 3 and 4 and now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row after you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first chain 3 that you started this row with it's right here. And now you chain one and you can cut your yarn. You're going to join the next color for the next row. Now I'm going to join the next color and you can join the next color in any of the chain two spaces that you have in between the double crochets the chain 2 spaces. That's right here. I'm going to go in right here and join the next color. So I'm using a slip knot to join the color. You can join it in any way that you're comfortable with. Going in right here. And now you chain 3. 1 2 and 3. Now this chain 3 again will be counted as a first double crochet of this row. Now you work your second double crochet. Chain 3 and you work 2 double crochets in the same chain space. 1, 2. Now we worked the first corner of the square and now for the rest of this side till you reach the next corner here you need to work in between the double crochets. So you're not going to go in any of these stitches you're going to go in between the two stitches. So you have your first double crochet here and the second one. You're going to work your double crochet right in between it. If you can see, you're going to work not in this stitch, right here in between them. So you work one double crochet right here in between the two double crochets. Now 
one double crochet in the next one in the next space and one double crochet in the next space now you need to work one double crochet in the chain space here now you work the next double crochet in between the next two double crochets right here and now in the next space you need to work a half double crochet now to work a half double crochet you need to yarn over insert your hook into that space yarn over pull through you have three loops on your hook you yarn over pull through all three loops now that's your half double crochet now in the next space you need to work a single crochet in the next space a single crochet in the next space a single crochet in the next space a half double crochet so again yarn over insert your hook into the space yarn over pull through you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three loops now in the next space you need to work one double crochet in the chain space one double crochet in the next space one double crochet in the next space one double crochet in the next space one double crochet and now in this chain space you need to work two double crochets chain three and two double crochets in the same chain space one and two after you complete the corner again in between the next two double crochets in the space right here you work one double crochet in the next space one double crochet in the next space one double crochet in the chain space one double crochet in the next space one double crochet in the next space a half double crochet in the next space one single crochet in the chain space right here one single crochet in the next space one single crochet in the next space a half double crochet in the next space one 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 double crochet and in the next space one double crochet now we've reached the corner space again now right into that you need to work two double crochets chain three 
and two double crochets in the same chain space. And now you need to continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row. After you complete your row, you need to join it with a slip stitch right into the first chain 3 that you started this row with. Now you work your second slip stitch in the next stitch and the third slip stitch in the chain space. Now you chain 3, this will be counted as the first double crochet of this row. Now you work the next double crochet in the same chain space, chain 3 and you need to work two double crochets in the same chain space, one and two. And now you need to work one double crochet in each of these 19 stitches before the chain space. So you have 19 stitches before you reach the next chain space. So you need to work one double crochet in each of them till you reach the next chain space. So I'm going to start with the first one here. So one, two, three, four and now you need to continue working one double crochet in each stitch till you reach the next chain space and you will have a total of 19 stitches in between. I've completed working the double crochets and I've reached the next chain space. Now right into that you need to work two double crochets, one and two, chain three and two double crochets in the same chain space, one and two. Now again on this side you will have 19 stitches before the next corner, the next chain space. So you need to work one double crochet in each of them and then continue working this pattern till you reach the end of this row. After you complete your row you need to join it with a slip stitch to the first chain 3 that you started this row with. And now you chain 1 and you can cut your yarn. 